um, in think. Burma. In Burma, he's a we man. Have... He needs time to think. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, in in Burma, we have a conflict uh, between Buddhist majority, 96 percent, and Muslim minorities, 4 percent. So they got a continue continuing conflict. And in previous um, interview, uh, you said that there are fears on both sides. And there are the lack of rule of laws, and the government is responsible, and they need to implement it. But that's one side. And your mother too. And we are uh, only, you are the only hope and inspiration for all our Burmese people. And may I ask that have you been uh, implementing, or do you have any plan to promote peaceful coexistence of all people inside Burma, regardless of race or religions? Thank you very much. Well, I've, we have been doing this over the last 30 years because, as I said, we started out with three pillars, democracy, human rights, and uh, national reconciliation. If all these three could be constructed strongly, then we would have peace and harmony in our land because human rights would be respected, everybody would enjoy their democratic rights, and there would be understanding between different communities, between different races. And now at the moment, as the chair of the Committee for Rule of Law, I'm trying my best to build a harmonious society through rule of law. And while I'm about it, could I say that we're trying to uh, establish rule of law centers all over the country, and that will require a lot of help uh, in in services as well as in funding. So anybody who would like to help with the establishment of rule of law in Burma, please get in touch with my committee through the legislature. Thank you. Thank you, Amisi. Yes. I think, I think that offer was...